In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Completely destroy a dragon instantly, get yourself a whole bunch of worm life crystals, turn them into the dragon forge, get a whole bunch of upgrades, an arrow that can literally one shot any enemy in the game, take out Medusa, grab the bow, and become one of the most broken characters that you've ever seen in Dragon's Dogma 2. If you're excited to be one of the most overpowered Arisen that's ever touched this game, let's get into it. So there's a little bit of prep that goes into this video, but the first part of it is the easiest. What you're going to want to do is you can actually do this at any level. And the fact that you're going to be so powerful by the end of this video, it's really up to you when you decide to do this. If you have already taken out this dragon that we're going to go take out or Drake, you're going to want to sleep for about seven days at an inn exit out of the game one time and go back into it from that point on you can follow the rest of the video so you're going to want to go over here to the ancient battlegrounds the ancient battlegrounds is pretty far away from the vernsworth city but that's okay go over to this ox cart right over here the western vernsworth ox cart station and take an ox cart all the way over to the other side of the map that'll take you down to the city right here the checkpoint rest town once you're in the checkpoint rest town you're going to want to go up left from this ox cart travel down this path go up over this bridge and make your way all the way along the side after exiting out of the woods to this castle right up here there are a whole bunch of ballistas and things that you can use to shoot arrows down at any nearby enemy but I suggest that you save these and aim them at the dragon that is usually fighting the ogre down here. If the dragon has already beat the ogre down, then the dragon is just going to be sleeping down there by himself, which is fine. Do not aggro the dragon. Leave it there. There are a bunch of ballistas in this area, but there's the only two that you're going to need is the one on the tower to the right and the one on the tower to the left. Make your way up here. Take out all the enemies. If you're feeling froggy, you could take out the ogre up here as well if you need to, but it's not necessary. And just in case this becomes a long drawn out fight, there are some more ballistas over here on this bridge. So you can take out the enemies on this side as well and use it if it's necessary, but it shouldn't be. But that being said, go over to the right ballista, aim it at the dragon. Your pawns should automatically help you do this, by the way, but if they don't, you can manually do it yourself. Make sure you draw the arrow all the way back so it goes the full distance and let it loose. As soon as it hits the dragon, you can do one of two things. The game is going to instantly save after you use a ballista at least once. From that point on, you can actually just exit out of the game without saving because it's already saved on its own. Go back into the game to your last save and then the dragon would have reset. The dragon will be sitting back in its original spot, but it still retains the damage that you just gave it. Hop back on the ballista, load up another arrow, shoot again. Congratulations, you just took out the dragon the easiest way humanly possible. Now, let's do the math here. If you sleep in this game for seven days, go out of the game, close down the app, and go back in, all the different enemies around the world do respawn. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more testing, but I'm pretty sure this dragon does respawn. Now, after taking out this dragon a bunch of times and you get all the worm life crystals that you ever want, you can take those worm life crystals all the way to the other side of the world and back Batal to the Dragon Forge. The Dragon Forge will be able to not only build different types of insane weapons for you, but you can also give you an arrow. Once he gives you that arrow, you're going to want to take that arrow over here to where Medusa is. You're going to want to shoot Medusa with this arrow, run one shot her for the good time and take the bow. Once you one shot Medusa with this arrow, you take her bow. You've practically broken the game. At this point, you have the most powerful bow 
in the game. Why? Because this bow is going to allow you to kill an enemy and get extra EXP every time. What I advise you do, if you haven't already, check out my how to get an Arisen Companion video so that you can unlock the Warfarer class, unlock the Warfarer, turn over to that vocation, and then use this bow so that you can level up all the vocations in the game instantly. Now, this is one of the fastest ways to get to max level in the game right now. Make sure before you do the killing shot of whatever you're fighting, you always hit it one time with the bow. You can switch your vocation out to a different vocation if you wanna do some damage and take the health bar down, but make sure just before you do the killing blow, you shoot it with the new Medusa bow. At that point, you're gonna be getting in so much experience from all the different enemies in the game extremely fast. Now, if you wanna mid-max this and make it even better for your experience gains, you can actually dismiss some of your pawns and only take your main pawn or just go out dolo and try to take out the enemies by yourself. And that right there is the fastest way to become the most overpowered Arisen that you can ever be in this damn game. If you like what we do here on the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, guides, and a whole lot more for Dragon's Dogma 2. This is your boy M of M6HD for now though. I'm out of here.